As I reflect on my time at Front Range, I am just so grateful for the way that it set a foundation in my life. I attribute most of who I am today to Front Range. As a student that went there from first grade to 12th grade, I was deeply shaped by my experience in the Front Range community. My favorite part about my current role here at Front Range Christian School is that I get to work so deeply with families. Um, I'm not just in the classroom working with students every day, which is so rich um, in itself, but I actually get to meet and work with um, our families, our parents, and I love that. For myself, I went to Front Range Christian School starting in first grade all the way until I graduated. I had an older sister who attended, and my parents were actually part of the original group of parents um, who had gotten together and started the school. Um, so my family has been so deeply involved with this place. Uh, Timothy Keller has a quote that says, to be loved and not known is superficial at best. To be known and not loved is our greatest fear, but to be fully known and truly loved is a lot like what it looks like to be loved by God. And I believe that this encapsulates a lot of my experience at Front Range. I think that it was a place that allowed me to be both fully known and fully loved. Um, for myself, uh, my experience with that kind of community, it has taught me so much about the fact that you get out of a place or you get out of a community what you pour in. Um, I think that because of my experience with my parents being so deeply involved in this community, with myself being so committed, so known and so loved, um, I learned that when you pour into something, you get a lot out. Um, I felt so supported um, and constantly encouraged and challenged um, by my community at Front Range, and I believe that my parents did too. My entire family had that kind of experience here. When I was a junior in high school, my grandpa was diagnosed with cancer, and this was something that just shook my family. I felt like I had to be the strong one because I saw the way that it impacted my younger brother who was really close to my grandpa. I saw the way that it really significantly impacted my mom. Uh, her dad was her best friend. And although my whole family was grieving through this experience, watching my grandpa that we loved slowly be affected by cancer, I felt like I had to be the strong one. And it was in that time that my English teacher reached out to me. She said, something's going on, something's weighing on you, what is it? And I just remember breaking down to her in that moment because she felt like the only person that I could talk to, the only person that wanted to listen to me. And it was in that moment that for me, faith wasn't just a concept. My belief about who God is and the way that he loved me and cared for me and saw me, it no longer was just a theology that I knew, but I felt like I was met with God's love in a person. And it was that experience, it was that moment of my English teacher keeping me after class saying, how are you? Can I sit with you? Can I pray with you? That has changed the way that I understand who God is. Being so uncertain about where I wanted to go with my life, what kind of job I wanted to have, um, all of that just came back to this question of who am I? Who was I created to be? What am I called to? Um, and not feeling certain about that made me feel so lost. It made me feel like I was wasting my time and my money. I felt like I was letting people down. Um, I was envious of the people around me who seemed to know exactly what they were called to. I felt like maybe I wasn't good enough um, because God hadn't um, reached out and given me my calling or told me exactly who I was supposed to be. Um, I felt like I was constantly falling short um, and I just, I didn't know who I was anymore. Um, and I hadn't realized just how important mentorship um, or discipleship, committed discipleship had been to me. Um, having people to look up to, to, to know me deeply, name the good in me and challenge me towards um, being more like the person God had created me to be. Um, that was so important in high school and I realized that that was something I needed to be intentionally pursuing in my life going forward. So I have become the kind of person who seeks out mentorship, who seeks out having someone to disciple me, um, intergenerational relationships or having someone to look up to who's walked the path before me is so important to me now. Um, and I'm really grateful to Front Range for teaching me that. 
And so I think that I've become the kind of person who believes that pouring into a place, um, you get a lot out. So I'm just grateful for a place that poured into me so significantly and that now I get to be a part of something that is pouring into and helping form the identity of students, providing spaces for them to be known and to be loved and to experience God in the way that I did as a student. So I'm just very grateful for my time at Front Range and the way that it continues to do for a lot of students the thing that it did for me.